Georgia, you've been actively involved in the cultural life of the island for many years. As an artistic director of the Rialta Theatre here in Limassol, what opportunities are you creating to support and promote local talent to the international audience? I think there are two kinds of international audience. The one is the local international audience. Um, Limassol is a multicultural, multinational, international city and therefore the international audience is existing also here. We promote of course all our programs and all artists, locals and internationals to this audience um, all the way and on the other hand we do have a lot of relations to the international scene, cultural scene. Uh, we invite every year many organizers, many festival programmers to our festivals. We organize six uh, international festivals, as you probably know. And um, we have there the best occasions to promote, to show the talented Cypriot uh, creators and in music, in cinema, in, uh, in theater, in dance. They are the best options for them to get invited abroad in festivals, some of them very well known internationally. The Rialto Theatre is a landmark in Limassol that has changed the cultural scene not only in Limassol but also across Cyprus. How does the theatre work today? The Rialto has reopened in 99 but it, um, it has been a historic cinema for many decades started uh, working in uh, 1933. It was of course in the center of Limassol at that time. The bad times or the, the crisis for the cinema came of course in the 70s. The one cinema after the other here in Limassol have been closed down, so Rialto did. And uh, there was, thank God, the momentum that the Rialto was bought by the uh, Cooperative Savings Bank. Uh, they bought the old uh, historic building and they transform it to this modern theatre. And the most important is that they made out of the theatre a foundation, an organisation that is programming, that is uh, managing this theatre in order to offer culture um, at a high standard, but also to make culture accessible to everybody. In 2017, you spearheaded the artistic program for the European Capital of Culture, Bafos 2017. How do you feel knowing that you have actively contributed to a lasting legacy that has influenced and changed the mindset of thousands of people? I'm very glad that you say so. I also believe that uh, Bafos 2017 and the years before 2017, the three, four years before, the preparation years, they have uh, brought a great change into the society of Paphos, not only regarding audience and culture awareness, which have been increased uh, uh, hugely, but also into um, many different um, social dimensions. The inclusion is there, more than it was. The, the, the different foreigners' communities, they have come closer together. Of course, they are aware there are also the great world-class events, but also this kind of uh, feeling uh, of the Paphos people, the pride for their city, um, this confidence of the artists in Paphos, and of course the big audience which now is there in Paphos and uh, supports culture, supports performances there. I still remember very well the opening of Rialto. And if I could add, of course, the, the opening celebrations with Miki Theodorakis, with Michalis Kakoyanis, with the presence of these two ecumenical uh, personalities in cultural life, these are the most important. Uh, I cannot forget them. Do you believe Cyprus has the potential for culture to be seen as a growth sector? There are so many artists, high-skilled artists here in Cyprus. There's so much talent. The country is so beautiful. There are so many sites. There are the historic places here. Actually, we have all opportunities to be a center of production, either in filming, in theater, in music. We can be a bridge between Mediterranean, Europe, uh, Africa.
to somebody who might be interested in culture, I would tell him, stay open, take as much as you can from this culture. It's actually a miracle to have the ability to, to read, to see, to make of perhaps also part of this universe that is called culture. It's, um, it's unbelievable. For me, it's, uh, it's the wealth in your life.